Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. We're here with a brand new Rags Riches series here in No Man's Land, starting with, well, I was going to say $1, uh, $0, but now we're minus $1. So starting with minus $1, uh, one chainsaw, one tractor, and a trailer. So back in No Man's Land, now this is what you guys asked for, Rags Riches series, No Man's Land. We've got the uh, beautiful Massey Ferguson tractor here and a little trailer to go behind. So, obviously the idea here is, um, not running with series, uh, seasons, I should say, but one tractor, one trailer, one chainsaw. We need to make some money to be able to buy a plough to plough our field. We need to be able to buy a cultivator. We need to be able to buy a cedar. We need to be able to buy like a fertiliser and lime spreader and all that sort of stuff to start making some money. Even expand our field if we can. And then buy new fields, upgrade our equipment, all that sort of stuff. So, I think that's... um. What we're going to start doing at the moment, so what I want to do is sort of maybe come through here and clear out a few of these trees, just to make a little bit of money to be able to buy a plough. So, we'll get our Massey Ferguson here, it's got 658,761 hours on it, so it's quite old, it needs a little bit of um, TLC, it needs a bit of a service and a little bit of fuel, so, um, but at the moment, it's not too bad, I guess. So, we might just come through here and cut down few of these smaller trees. What I want to also do is, can we actually um, open and close toolbox? Okay, this that doesn't do anything with our mouse. It sounds like it is, but it's not. No, okay, just making sure we couldn't actually open the back part here, which would be pretty good. Um, also, if you guys aren't aware, I'm now officially a partner with Giants. So if you guys are in need of any DLC or Farming Simulator 19, uh, Farming Simulator 17, any of that stuff, have a look down in the description. There will be links there to the Giants website where you can actually purchase that stuff from and also it will allow me to get you know, a little bit of um, a little bit of money back from Giants to help you know, me, uh, me be able to become a little bit um, higher up with Giants as far as um, a partner goes. Be able to become... I'm at like a standard tier, be able to go gold tier and all that sort of stuff and be able to help promote um, Farming Simulator throughout the community with Giants and obviously other people and that sort of stuff and also be able to potentially I'll be able to get rewards from you know Giants and that sort of stuff so that would be pretty cool if we could actually do something along those lines. I know there's a fair few other people at the moment, um, other good YouTubers that are, are, are partners already. Um, you guys might already know, like, for the likes of Daggerwin and that sort of stuff, who is somebody that I do watch um, play FS19. He's already a partner. There's numerous, numerous other people I don't need to mention because you guys probably already know, but there's certainly um, a few partners around already, so make sure you support both them and myself if you guys can, and let's help to you know bring some more interest into FS19 and hopefully try and convince... Giants to be able to um, release a newer version of more DLCs and that sort of stuff. Right, get that cut. That's one tree in. Let's try and grab another one. But um, yeah, it's a good idea by Giants, so hopefully it's going to be um, a rewarding thing for both of them and us as um, content creators as well. Hopefully it's going to work well for, for both sides. Right, there we go. One more tree. Um, still plenty of grass and stuff around this side. I wonder if the grass is ready to cut and get out of the way. There is a, a mower that I've found that we can actually purchase. It's not the best. It's not the biggest mower, but if we can you know, get some grass cut and potentially s sold, that might um, bring in a little bit of money for us. Probably not a massive amount, but you know, at this point in time, any money is going to help. Just cut that a little bit too long. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... Um, I think these next two, this one and this one, the smaller trees. I don't want to go a bigger tree just yet, because obviously they're going to be quite heavy. I don't have the front-loading attachment or anything for the, the tractor at the moment, so once, that, um, once we get some more money, we can actually purchase that. We should be able to be able to pick up some heavier logs, hopefully. Um, I don't know how long we're going to have this tractor for because it's not 
not very strong, but it should be enough for us to, you know, get started and um, build some money up to be able to expand a little bit. I think I would like to use Seasons um, on this Rags to Riches series. You guys let me know what you think. Should we use Seasons or not? Leave it down in the comment section. Just, you know, write hashtag Seasons yes or hashtag Seasons no. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I do like running Seasons. I just wasn't too sure on um, if we should run it at this stage. Try and get a half decent start sort of thing and then maybe turn Seasons on later or should we turn it on straight away? Um, it's completely up to you guys. I want you guys to have you know, a lot of say in this series as well, so. Um, for you, those of you who haven't sort of been around watching, um, watching out or looking out of my channel for when I put up, you know, posts and that sort of stuff, I did actually put up a post a little while ago saying that the FS19 content was going to slow down um, quite dramatically, and you guys probably have already noticed that for the FS19 fans. So I just sort of got, um, I guess I'll say I just sort of got burnt out with FS19. I sort of I've done that much stuff and that many recordings and videos and and um, stuff like that. And I kind of just didn't really know what else to do and kind of just got bored and you know, had absolutely no interest in even playing FS19 again. So that's why there's been no content. But hopefully um, this new series and being partnered with Giants is going to help. Um, I guess just bring me back into. You know, wanting to be a part of the FS19 gaming community again and give me incentive into actually, you know, doing some new stuff and more recordings and stuff for you guys. So, I'm hoping that's how it's going to be. Bring out some plenty more content, hopefully, improve our partnership with Giants and um, be seen by them as a, you know, a good content creator, you know potentially be given rewards and that sort of stuff and you know any rewards that I do receive I'll, I'll share with you guys as well all right there we go so back right up to here throw these guys in we'll see how much money we make if we make enough we might be able to buy our plow straight away We're actually negative money at the moment so any money is going to be good money Well, my money's going up reasonably quick, so I'm hoping it's only going to only going to take these few trees, and we might have enough money for our plow. Certainly think that's going to be the most important thing this episode. That was whoop, good seventeen hundred dollars from that little bit. That's a decent sized log too, so that should give us a decent amount of money. I know there's going to be parts of these trees that we're not actually going to get money for when it actually goes through the chipper, so. Right, that bit in. So that was actually a decent sized log, we only got $27. Because there's, say like this part here, you're probably not actually going to get money for. Right, throw that in. So you can see it's actually chipping it, but not getting money just yet. Only the last tiny little bit we got money for. $14. Right, so let's go and have a look using the Ferguson tractor, of course. We'll have a look at um, the plow. So we've got one meter, 1.5, and three and a half. So three to five furrow plow. Uh, we'll go also to five. $350. We'll buy that. Awesome. So that means we can actually take this trailer back and dump it over here. We do actually have some logs here, but. They haven't been cut down by me, so they're just going to stay there, I think. We might keep them for, you know, an emergency or something at a later date if we need. Need some money really, really quickly, then maybe that's what we can have a look at. So let's put our trailer away. We'll go and look at our plow. We'll pick it up. And um, I'll come back with you guys when we're back down at the farm. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a sec. Right there guys, we're back. Got our plough behind us, so we need to get started ploughing the field. This grass is actually ready to, to cut and harvest. Um, it is quite um, 
quite ugly looking though, isn't it? It really is. Um, I don't think I can... I think we can't actually turn the plough over, over either, so I think I should probably go the other way down the field. Might be a bit better, that way we always keep our you know, right side of our wheels up against the side of the field. Might be the easiest way to start. Um, I'm going to just use this field for now. I think once we come back through and cut all this grass, I might actually expand this field a little bit. Um, we've got a little bit of room to expand field. We'll make a field over there and down here, I think, so... It'll be something we can look at um, potentially next episode, but um, let's get stuck in and get this get this ploughed. So what I might do as well now, guys, is I might throw in a um, bit of a time lapse here and get through this field, and um, I'll come back once it's finished. Right guys, this is the last pass, and we've got a bit of stuff to tidy up, but um, got through that reasonably quick. It only took about 10 minutes or so for me to, to do a, um, 
obviously real time. Time lapse, I think I'm going to do it about time three, so probably going to take you a couple, a couple of minutes, two to three minutes to for you guys to get through it. But we'll um, go through and check. There's a few spots I know that I'm going to have to touch up, make sure they're actually ploughed properly. This spot here. Uh, a couple of spots over there, there's one spot there as well which needs to be touched up a little bit. There we go, a few spots over here that I missed. Alright, there we go, get these bits done and then that'll be it. So what I'm going to do guys is I'll end the episode after we've finished this, um, put the plow away. Um, I'm going to, I think I definitely will get seasons ready to go because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to want seasons installed as well. Seasons certainly makes the, the gameplay a lot more realistic. Um, so get that sorted out. Next episode we might come back. I might have to sell some more. Cut down some more trees and sell some more trees and stuff. And um, Yeah, be able to afford um, our cedar. Uh, potentially a cultivator as well. Um, seeds. Going to need to afford a fertilizer spread up which spreads both fertilizer and lime and that sort of stuff so we've got a lot of equipment we need to buy um, it's just going to take a bit of time to get it all I think so let's um, put this plow away we'll turn our tractor off and I'll um, head inside have some breakfast and I'll see you guys in the next episode so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the ideas so far and any ideas for the future episodes in this series, long-term plans, goals, etc. Leave it in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.